Hello, brothers and sisters. It's Chad Buck, Mr. Judah Dan, all of you met 360. And I just want <clears throat> to encourage people to keep um, to keep their love going, okay? Because, um, yeah, the, the Lord's been dealing with me, <clears throat> and He showed me um, His Holy Spirit doesn't like living in angry people. So, if you're angry, God's not. He's got a day set aside for wrath. The Lord doesn't sit and seethe all the time. Yeah? So if you're seething over it, repent. Repent, man. Because number one, we're, we're, what is it that makes us angry? What is it that causes us struggle with our brothers even? Is it, isn't it not fear, doubt, and disbelief? You know? You're walking a walk. You're all happy. But then some brother comes along and, and sows some new false teaching that he heard somewhere. Some, some teaching that would sow in doubt in you. And, and what do you do? Because, no, -uh, no, that's not right. And, and it stirs up anger in me. Uh, people, if you lie to me about my God, oh, man, it stirs up anger in me. And then I find myself angrily reading the word, proving you wrong. Well, the Lord rebuked me for that kind of stuff. He's like, dude, I don't, there's no, let them who want me have me. People who don't want me don't have to have me, son. Quit trying to force other people to have me if they don't want me. You have me, son. You have me all the way. And you do what I tell you to do. Don't do what some preacher tells you that I told him to do. You seek me. You do what I tell you to do, son. See, had the Lord rebuked me. She said, you don't have to fear not. What is it that causes you to see the waves? You see the waves, you get tossed out the boat. There you are, all kicking and about to drown. Lord, help! You know, he's like, get up, get up. I'm like, look, but I can't, but I'm drowning. It's like, dude, get up. Walk on that water. Get up. Where's your faith? Your faith is in me. Not in somebody else. Not in what somebody else is in your head. Not, your faith is in the Son of God. Not in what some Gentile preacher says that he said. So, or, or some Hebrew preacher, whatever. Yup. Um, so, the things that cause people to be angry are just when people try to sow doubts of disbelief. You know? And, but anger, the spirit gets vexed by anger. The spirit doesn't need to be angry. The spirit works better in love. See, when, when you walk in love, you, you can speak your words in love. Maybe someone might hear them, but if you speak your words, and I'm I'm really just re repenting before you, pretty much. I'm really, really just confessing my own error that the Lord has shown me that I do, um, and because when when I get distraught. When I feel like the Lord is, is outside of me, I get on my face and I don't move until I, I bawl until he shows back up. Yeah. When he showed up, he'd get mad at me for, for believing other people. He'd get mad at me. He's like, son, why are you believing? You lost your faith because you listened to someone else other than me. He's like, seek me and you will find. Seek the good and you will find. If all you run around and do all day is seek out um, the, the error in the world, you'll find it. If all you do all day is seek YouTube videos trying to come up with some new controversial thing about the Lord and what he may or what his name may or may not do, that's not believing in me. You know, that's listening to somebody else. You know, you're going to listen to somebody else, destroy your faith, or are you just going to remember when you was a little child? And you believed. Don't let nobody destroy that. No, knowledge puffs up. But love builds up. And so we know that we're walking in Jesus if we're walking in love. You know? 
And if we're walking in anger, we know that the Spirit doesn't reside in anger. And so when we sit there and seethe in our anger, we speak words, and it's all and it's justified, isn't it? Oh, how just we are when we're when we're lecturing the rest of the world for what they're doing wrong. Oh, how justified we are because we know the word better than them, and we start say, yelling at them in, in 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 our own living room when no one's around too. We're lecturing and and telling. And, and we're and we're angry, and we're we start talking about kicking people's ass if they don't, you know, and all kinds of crazy stuff, man. And then and then we wonder why we're, our hearts are on fire. Our hearts are on fire is because the Lord's mad at us, because we're not walking in love, you know. Love doesn't boast. Love rejoices with the truth, though. So, you know, we don't have to believe the liar. We don't have to believe the liar. You know, <clears throat> so um, this is something that the Lord's rebuked me on is um, if you're angry, you're already defeated. You know, if you're if you're hating your your enemy, you're already defeated. If you're hating your brother, you're guilty of murder. So that that ain't no good. Luckily, your brother's still alive and he's not dead. So you can repent of that kind of anger, you know, but he who is mad with his brother, or his enemy even, yeah, there's no need for the sons of God to be so angry, only time we get angry is when our faith gets challenged, and, and why are we angry, because of our own potential disbelief, we're only angry at our own potential disbelief, and, you know, and the Spirit inside us gets mad at us. The Holy Spirit gets mad at us when we stop believing Him. When we let anything come in from the outside to challenge our faith in Christ. The Holy Spirit don't like that. But He's not going to get mad at them for telling it to you. He gets mad at you for believing it. You know? And, and, and the good news is, is when the Lord's mad at you, you don't go, fine, forget it. I'm, no, I'm not even part of you no more. You don't do that. You don't sulk and act like a little whiny bitch. No offense. You, you, you get down on your face and you repent. You cry out to the Lord until he shows up. And you don't give no rest. You cry out to the Lord until he shows up. If you feel like, you, like your anger has driven him away, Get on your face and bawl before the Lord. And don't move until he shows up. As when he shows up, he will sup with you. Him and the Father, he, they will sup with you. And they will calm all your fears. The Holy God will calm all your fears. But you got to call out to him. You know? And so, um, this is just a word of encouragement. And, um, and a warning about anger. Anger is not becoming the saints of God. It does no good for the for the own heart, and it does no good for the listener. You know, we don't want to be driving people away. We want to be gathering them in. You know, in the truth, of course. You know, there's going to be differences and disagreements amongst us. But when you get angry about it, it's only because of your own potential disbelief. If you're really believing in Jesus, you're really walking in Him in His love, and you're obeying Him and trying to do all what He says, you know, then there is nothing in you to cause you to doubt and fear. There's nothing in you that would keep you to in error. You know, when we live in the light, as He is in the light, there will be nothing in us to cause us to stumble. You know, and so this is a word of encouragement. The times are getting rough right now. Everybody's like, ah! But every now and then you see some people that got some rock-solid faith that are walking in love. And, and focus on them. Focus on the things that inspire hope. Focus on the things that inspire your faith and, and help you walk in love. Don't focus on things. And don't get on that YouTube preacher network where you're looking for every false thing. Well, let somebody come and tell you that the name that you've been praying in for 25 years is all of a sudden a, a name of a demon. Oh, don't fall for that, man. 
you believed in the Lord, the Lord knows. The Lord knows how the enemy would try to corrupt his way. You know? You know? He'll answer to it. He'll answer to the word Jesus. Yeah. He'll answer to it. He knows who you mean. You know? Yeshua. You know? Yahuwah. It's fine. It's fine if you got a mouth that knows how to speak Hebrew. But if you just got a poor, broken down, um, taught by the world mouth that only knows what the sinners taught you, then you say that. You know? Well, God knows what you mean. So this is just a word of encouragement, brothers, and I hope, and sisters, and I hope this helps you. You know? Let's gather in the exiles of Israel. And let's not neglect the Gentile. Yeah, let's all become one people in Christ, for sure. In Jesus' name, let's do it, you know. Come on, people. Encouragement. All right, it's Chad Buck. Peace out.